People use cases for all different reasons, whether for style, protection, or function. Here, we are going to go through 70 different cases for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I implore you to check out the entire video because we mix and match the order that they're in. So in no particular order, here are our favorite cases for the 11 Pro Max. Starting off with Spigen. Spigen's got three for us to check out. The rugged armor, the ultra hybrid, and the thin fit. Basically varying degrees of protection. And the basic one is still that clear one, which is very similar to Apple's, but the two that excited us the most were the thin fit and the rugged armor. This is the rugged armor case. It's very nice, it has the Apple logo exposed there on the back, so you can still tell that it is an iPhone, and it has additional protection around the corners compared to the other speaking cases that we have. This one here is the thin fit. It's a very thin shell. You can see it's got a little bit of elevated bump around the camera, though the bottom and the top of the phone are exposed. Of course, all the corners and the sides are covered, and the back. It has a little bit of a soft touch finish, which gives it a good grip in the hand. While it is a very thin case, it still feels very easy to hold and it's not going to fly out. So three for us to check out, but we also wanted to take a look at their Glasser Easy Fit screen protectors. These come in a two pack and what's really nice about these is they come in these easy assemble trays. So there are two in the box, two different trays. You take your phone, you put it into the tray and it aligns perfectly. Gone are the days where you'd have to kind of line up the screen protector yourself and you might have to reapply or something. No, these you literally just put your phone in here, apply some pressure, and it basically just adheres itself and it's aligned spot on. So some really cool stuff from speaking this year, all things we've kind of seen before but updated here for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Moving on, we've got bodyguards. The two cases we are going to be checking out today are the Momentum case, which is this green one here, which turned to be kind of one of our sleeper favorites of the bunch. Then we have the Ace Pro. Ace Pro is a little bit more minimalistic and has a clear design and comes in a few different colors. When you've got this on your phone, you can see your phone right through the back, including the Apple logo. It's a little bit elevated around the camera bump there. It covers both the top and the bottom of the phones completely, and you can see the accented color along the sides, tops, all the edges of the phone. It's kind of a nice little accent to the new iPhone line. Here's the Momentum case, which comes with that little lanyard. We kind of like the lanyards. They're really cool, and they're pretty handy if you're taking photos in a little bit of a precarious uh, position. This is definitely more of an outside case and not like the leather ones that tend to be fancier, more indoor, and less rugged. Phone goes into it really easily. Bodyguard said this was based off of performance sneakers. I mean, kind of see that. The back has this kind of foam design. It feels really neat, and it was honestly kind of one of our uh, favorites that we weren't expecting going into this video. One case we were really excited to try out was this one here from Element Case. This is their Black Ops Elite case and it has a whole lot of things going for it. Cases usually have one or two main features that they like to tout, like fingerprint resistant and drop proof and all those kind of things. This has a huge laundry list of features going down the back between the materials, the assembly, and the other things that are included with this case. Even the box is unlike anything else we've seen in this video in our roundup, so this is definitely something that is set apart from the rest of the cases here. So we have the case on the right hand side, but it also includes two other things in the box, this little keychain lanyard and this little element case box, which contains a few extra screws and a quick wrench you can use or a screwdriver basically to assemble and disassemble the case. So first up, looking at those included accessories, it has the Element Case logo there on the top of the actual clip. On the bottom is a keychain which can be removed and you can use the little cord to connect it to the bottom corner of the case itself. This is made out of four feet of paracord and there is a little uh, lighter little flint there in the center used to start fires if you ever needed this in an emergency, kind of a standard uh, paracord keychain here. Then we have the quick access screwdriver and two screws of each type as backups for assembling and disassembling the case. So here's the case itself. It looks and feels amazing. There is a clip here on the back and that clip can easily be removed. It just simply slides up, but it allows you to easier clip this into your pocket. You don't need some big holster or anything like that, just this clip and it is made of stainless steel, powder coated black, and it can be removed if you're not gonna use it, but it is very thin while it's still on the case. There is a built-in kickstand, which is perfect for propping up your phone and watching videos. You can almost not even tell that it is in there. It's very thin. On the side, we have the buttons, which are anodized in a different color than the rest of the aluminum. 
They are very tactile with that knurling on the outside so you can feel them easily and they are very precise and accurate. As you're pressing them, they hit the buttons on the inside on your actual phone and they're very quick. It's not like the rubber or the leather covered ones that can feel a little bit spongy that you're not actually clicking the buttons. So really good work on the buttons on this case. There are a lot of different materials in this case between the stainless steel. These outside edges here are anodized aluminum and they slide right on and are screwed into place. So then you get a kind of rubberized frame and then the back of it is this custom hardened glass composite. It doesn't feel like glass not going to shatter anything but it's very rigid where you have them the rubberized around it and then the metal frames going around the edges it is very easy to take on and off but it is a little bit odd that you have to use the screws to put your phone in and out of this so it's not something you're going to take off quickly if you need to this is one of the most protective and stunning cases in our entire lineup we were really excited to try this one out so make sure you check out this one at the link in the description next up is pad and quill pad and quill likes to send their actual cases out in these small little cardboard paper envelopes that are actually wax sealed. Breaking the seal open we can get inside and see the case itself which in this case is one of the light brown folio style cases for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. There is an elastic band that wraps around to keep everything closed up together. On the bottom of the back you can see the pad and quill logo has been pressed into the leather. There's also that and sign pressed into the spine of the case itself. Opening it up, we have a hard shell case on the right hand side and several card pockets on the left. You can also see the different color leather on the interior. It has a big clear ID slot there as well as four card slots above it. Along the back, you can see the camera cutout is nice and solid. It does get a little bit weird when you have that strap in the way, but you do have to remove the strap anyway when you're accessing the camera because you have to open up the case. This does not have the magnets inside of which means it's not going to open and close or lock and unlock the phone when you open or close the case, but otherwise, quality is top notch. Next we have a Snake Hive out of London. This is another folio style card case that has a few different and unique aspects to it. We have the plum color here, which is not one we see often. It has a very soft finish to the outside of the leather. When you open things up, you get past that magnetic clasp that holds everything closed. We have a silicone shell on the inside. Now the silicone shell, there's nothing wrong with it, but it is a little bit harder to get your case into or your phone into the case. It has to kind of stretch around the phone itself, but it is clear so you can see the color of your iPhone behind the case. The camera cutout works just fine. You can easily access the camera, including the wide angle lens without anything getting in the way. And your phone can be propped up to be used in video mode. Now this clasp does seem to kind of fold forward a little bit and get in the way. So make sure you pull that back. We wish there was maybe a second magnet that would hold it behind the case when watching a movie or something. There is a pocket on the inside as well, several card slots, but no ID pocket in this one. There is a stitching line to cut out towards the top of the front of the case, letting you to take phone calls while the case is actually closed so you don't have to fold it behind. And there is the little Snake Hive logo on that bottom right corner on the front of the case. Moving things along, our next case in the lineup is from Griffin. We have two from their Survivor line. The Endurance case right here up front, which has 11 feet of drop protection and still keeps a relatively slim body. And then we have the Strong case, which kind of ironically has only 10 feet of drop protection in comparison, though it is a little bit lighter and slimmer than the other case is. So here is that Endurance case. It has a frosted back, a couple different materials here kind of joining together. It gives you a little more flexibility on the sides and that solid back, letting you to still see a little bit of the color and the Apple logo through the case when it is on your phone. Here is the Strong case, very similar to a lot of the other clear shells that are out there, but has a little bit more of a frosted side to it. So clear back and frosted sides and has a little bit of a pattern to it too. A little bit different than kind of the boring ones that are just completely clear. Uh, like apples and some of the other minimalistic ones. We do like some of the little touches on the endurance case, such as the color matched buttons. So while the outsides are actually the darker color, the buttons are a lighter gray. So it gives them a little bit more of a standout nature and they're still very tactile so you can feel them easily. The lightning connector also has a large cutout so even larger cords will fit in there without any issue. For many years, no man has been known for their leather cases sourced from the Huawei Tannery in Chicago. And this year they have of course just updated their line for the new iPhone 11 Pro Max, but we have a new style case to go along with their leather rugged case. Now their leather ones are great and they wear over time and they look amazing. All their cases, they feel very solid, they offer a lot of drop protection, have a very soft interior with that microfiber lining, and still, the leather ones are top notch. We really like their leather ones, especially as they age, but they're not water resistant. So this new case that they came up with is their active leather case. 
So it's leather, it still has natural leather, but it's been treated to be waterproof or water resistant. So you can get this wet without it getting destroyed. Now the downside is it does not age as nicely. So over time, it's not gonna develop such the nice patina that we get with the standard natural leather, but it still feels great in the hand and it'll look great for long periods of time. So if you're using your phone case outside a lot and you might get it wet and you're worried about that, then this is definitely one to consider. Like their other cases, they are made of TPU material for the rest of the case, gives a good bumper and shield around the front of the lip, so nothing can impact the screen, and there is a little bit of a lip going around the camera, so nothing's gonna damage the lenses when it's set down on a table. Next, we've got Smartish. Smartish has sent us both the Wallet Slayer and the Gripzilla case. Smartish is always kind of a fun brand that always has a different look and feel to a lot of the other cases out there. They're relatively, actually they're very affordable cases and they have just kind of neat designs or smart aspects to them. So I really like this Gripzilla case. You can see on the sides it has kind of this fingerprinting going around them giving it really good grip. And of course the Wallet Slayer here just has the wallet uh, spot here in the back. Unfortunately this one is not going to work with wireless chargers, it's too thick but the Gripzilla one will just fine. And if you prefer to have that wallet with you, then this is going to be a really nice option. But again, this Gripzilla one is kind of a really nice one. It has a very simple streamlined design. And I like those imprints down the side, it just makes it really easy to hold onto your phone. And this bright blue color is one that we really don't see all that often. So it's a really nice differentiator from the other cases in this lineup. Speaking of colors though, we have two of the neon cases, the neon crystal palace cases from Gear 4. They sent us both this bright blue one and this neon yellow. These offer 13 feet of drop protection, which is some of the highest on the list, and they're not overly bulky like some of the more protective cases are. They appear to be a bit of a two material design with a little bit of clear and that color material going together. So as we actually take these out and stick it on our phones, you'll see there's clear going around the edges with this blue back or the neon yellow back. They're also very solid. I thought they were going to be a little bit more jelly and flexible, but they are not as much as we thought, which is clearly why they have more protection built in here than we might have initially uh, expected. Now I do have these, the midnight green iPhone 11 Pro Max, which doesn't go as well with the green. I mean, it still goes pretty good. These still look really nice together. The blue and the green looks very nice, but I think it would look even better with the space gray or with the silver of the iPhone 11 series. This year, Pelican is going all out for the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. We have several cases from Pelican to check out with a bunch of different features and styles, including this portable power option that builds in wireless charging and additional battery pack. We have the Traveler case here, which is again, something unique that we have not seen before. So we're gonna get into this one with some of its cool aspects. We have a little bit more standard cases that just have some fun designs, including these row cases that have a really nice texture going on the back, very kind of bumpy and dimply. They're very kind of fun cases to hold on to. Then getting a little bit more simpler with just this mogul case that has this bright kind of color to it, still transparent, can still see the iPhone logo, but gives you a pop of color alongside just a basic solid protective case. You can see they go a little bit further by adding that glossy detail around the edges, so a little bit of a chrome accent around the edges and around the camera cutout here. It's a little bit more than your standard, uh, just kind of poppy jelly case. So here are their middle of the road ones with this really fun texture. It looks really cool. It feels even cooler in the hand, gives a little bit of extra grip and just looks visually interesting. It's not just a matte finish or a solid finish or a glossy finish. It just kind of mixes with the light and it just feels good to hold onto the phone. You don't feel like you're going to drop it with this case on, but it still is very thin and minimalistic. It comes in this darker color and you also saw we have the lighter color, the kind of frosted clear one to go with. Here is a very distinct case. This is their Traveler case, and it actually has this stitching down the sides, which one, gives it a unique look. It's a kind of a dark green thread, which matches our midnight green iPhone, but it also gives additional grip. So it's perfect little grip down the sides of the phone. It looks kind of almost Native American, very kind of hippie-ish. This is definitely a cool case we have not really seen too much before. You can see it has protection all the way around, including covering there at the bottom, and it is made of leather along the back. So here is their battery case. And the battery case itself is a standard case that attaches magnetically to this battery pack. It works with wireless charging, obviously, because this battery pack will charge the phone wirelessly just through that Qi coil on the back of the phone. Hit the battery button there on, turn that thing on, and you can see the phone starts charging right away. 
it's kind of a good alternative to a standard battery case because you can just pull this thing off when you don't need it and snap it on when you do. The downside to it that we don't like is the battery itself charges over micro USB. We really would have liked to see USB-C uh, if anything at all. So it is a downside that they're still sticking to micro B. UAG, another fan favorite. We've got two cases this year to check out, including their plasma case, which has that soft impact resistant core, armored shell, and is a very feather-like construction. It looks pretty awesome here on our iPhone 11 Pro Max, if I do say so ourself. It has a really cool texture to it, just a lot going on. It looks very modern and different. We also have an updated version of their Monarch case. There's so many different layers going on here, different protective layers. There is metal going on. There's leather actually underneath everything. There's a lot of different components to this and it adds a lot of protection to the phone. We get requests for this case every single year, so we're really excited to see that they've updated again for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. While they do have screws on the corners just like the Element case did, the good thing is you don't actually have to remove them to put this case on and off. Next up we have Casemate. We have the Tough Speckled, the Tough Neon, and the Waterfall Confetti, another favorite that people love year over year. These things do wear a little bit. Over time you'll get some bubbles in there, but they still are kind of a fun case and it seems a little bit thinner this year than we've seen in years past. This is the confetti version. There's all sorts of waterfall cases that Casemates puts out. Just fun colors and interesting things going on rather than just your standard case. We do like their updated uh, tough speckled here, so it has a frosted back and the speckled appearance going down the sides. It's a very minimalistic style case, very simple, but kind of just a unique aspect that we don't see a lot again. And it looks pretty awesome on our iPhone 10 or iPhone 11 Pro Max here. Regardless of which of these cases you like, whether you like the confetti waterfall, this tough speckled, or the tough neon, all three of these cases do come with 10 feet of drop protection. So good drop protection there, a lot more than just standard from your hip. And they do cover all edges of the phone, you're not having any gaps that are open, and there's a little bit of lip going up around the camera so that the cameras are not going to touch anything when they're laying down on a surface. We've got Moshi coming up next with the Ultra case and the Overture case. Both of these are really top notch and I haven't given Moshi a lot of looks before, but after these cases I'm definitely going to start paying attention to them. These work with their Snap 2 mounting system which you can put in little metal plates there and they'll work with these magnetic um, mounts. The back here is very nicely textured with all these different triangles, it looks very modern and cool. We have an attachment here on the lower right hand corner which connects to this lanyard that comes in the box. So you can use this if you want to or detach it if you don't want it. It has a round loop on here which is kind of a funky way to attach things but it's still again going very modern with the design. Then we have the Overture case from Moshi. Now it is just a standard leather case that looks very nice, feels very good. Seems like a very solid leather shell case but what makes it different is it can then go from the standard case to a wallet folio. And unlike the Snake Hive and the other ones that we've seen so far in this video, it connects magnetically so you don't always have to use it. This is huge because you can have just the case when you want the case and you can have a full on wallet and a folio when you need that. So it's pretty nice if you don't want that folio the whole time because the folio can get burdensome if you have to keep opening and closing when you're just in your home relaxing. Just keep the phone case on when you're in the home and when you head out, attach the folio magnetically and you have your wallet and everything else with you. The detail work here is very nice. We don't mind the Moshi logo there on the front. Kind of a nice little accent, silver accent to the black body. Nice stitching work and the leather overall feels a very high quality and premium. We really like this case. Moshi also has a nice ion glass privacy cover. So you can put this on your phone, it'll protect your screen and give you a little bit of privacy so if someone's sitting next to you can't really see what's on your screen, but you can see it perfectly clear. Here we have Tech 21 with their Studio Color Series. This is their Lost in the Woods. And this is dark green color. It's kind of a nice color to go with our midnight green iPhone. Now this is plant-based, they say, so a portion, a portion of this is made up out of recycled plant materials. It's a very thin case, but it still offers eight feet of drop protection. They've also integrated some antimicrobial properties into this case. So as you're using it, your phone case can get really disgusting. Your phone can get disgusting by building in some of those antimicrobial microbial properties to kind of repel those germs, it's going to keep your phone a little bit more sanitary. Overall, a slim, sleek case that offers good drop protection and smart features like being plant-based and adding those antimicrobial features. It would not be a new iPhone if it didn't have a new book book in tow. 
and 12 South did just that for this year, came out with a new book book for the latest iPhones, and they've kind of built in some new features here that mimic what we saw with Moshi by making things magnetic and getting rid of the kind of odd clipping mechanism that they had in years past. We are not a fan of the removable case that used a series of clips on the inside of the book book to hold itself together, and the magnetic option is a far better one in our opinion. The spine, as always, has been updated for the latest one. They never reuse a spine. So here for the latest version, just new design all around for the spine of the book. There is a magnetic clasp that keeps things together. Personally, not a huge fan of the magnetic clasp, but a few of them do have it here in this roundup. It's not too much of a pain, but it's not our favorite. On the left hand side, we have three card slots and an ID slot here at the bottom, as well as a large pocket to store additional things like business cards or cash behind it. And just like the Moshi case, you can see we can simply pull off our magnetic shell case. It works with wireless charging, which is nice. And there is a solid leather back to the shell case. So the shell case by itself looks great, works with wireless charging. We love it. And then boom, snap it in here to use with your book book when you take it on the go with your cards, cash, ID, and everything else that you need. It does fold back, which is very handy. So you can prop it up to watch any movies or TV shows with your phone. Just another little nice thing. We do like they thought of those. They didn't get rid of those features when they went to the magnetic design. There are diehard book book fans out there, and we are sure they're going to be excited with the latest incarnation of 12 South's most famous iPhone case continue to chug along, we have the grip to you. This is an extremely slim case that has a unique way to hold onto your phone when you've got it in your hand. You don't have to add odd things to the back like pop sockets, it just automatically has that stuff built in. Get a soft interior lining, again, super, super thin shell of a case here, just snaps onto your phone and you can see that stretchy silicone band that's built into the back. It's kind of fun to play around with and you can easily slide your hand behind it and hold onto it when you're texting. Especially when you have a larger phone like this, it can be a little bit awkward or wonky in your hand when you're holding it one-handed. So having that extra grip on the back is kind of clutch when you're moving around with us. We aren't usually huge fans of plastic cases, but this one does elevate it just a little bit. We do like kind of the little accents they did. The way they did the cutouts for the buttons look kind of cool and make them extremely tactile when using them. And you can't argue with how useful that grip is on the back. Now we move on to Rhino Shield. Rhino Shield, we've got two different ones to check out today. We have the solid suit and the solid suit comes in a few different I kind of want to say finishes, but not finishes. We have two different versions of the Silent Suit. Then we have the Mod NX, which is their really customizable system here. And that's something that's really unique to Rhino Shield from anyone else. So here's the Mod NX, and it breaks up into three different parts. You have the frame edge there on the left. You have the frame, which is kind of this middle part here. And you can even take out the buttons and swatch out the buttons for different colors. And then you have the back panel. So when you're setting this case up, you can choose, do I want just a bumper system and I want the frame and the edge? Or do I want the edge bumper and I want the back covered as well? So you have different options and there's different colors of all these pieces so you can mix and match truly what you want. Mix and match the bumper, your buttons, and that edge or the back plate cover. Whatever you want to do to customize it for your phone. So a lot of different options out there with this modular system from Rhino Shield. Needless to say, it also has quite a bit of drop protection built in. Then we have their solid suit cases. So these are more traditional style cases, just done the Rhino Shield way. Nice hexagon pattern on the inside, really good drop protection. There's that matte black option, which is nice, but I kind of dig this carbon fiber looking one here. Not real carbon fiber, but it gives off a good appearance. Mujo makes some of the best leather cases out there, and their leather wallet case is, once more, one of our favorites. We've been using their cases for years, and they hold up very well, and they have a lot of little good touches that others just don't pay attention to, and a little bit different style, really high quality leather. There is a card pocket on the back that can handle between one to three cards, but remember, leather does not stretch back, so once it stretches, you're kind of stuck with that many cards in there. You have nice buttons on the sides that are very tactile, even though they are fully leather covered. The inside of the case is covered in Japanese microfiber, which is very soft and plush compared to the others that sometimes just use foam or something. So really nice interior to this. And all the corners where like the camera cut out and such have these chamfered leather edges, which kind of tapered in a little bit instead of just cutting straight off. So Mujo has a few different colors out, including some new ones this year, though the blue has always been one of our favorites. Kadabe has new cases, including the Synthesis case, the Sheath case, and their thinnest one of the bunch that we're going to take a look at, which is their Veil. 
Kadabe has basically cornered the market on modern and thin cases. They're not trying to do anything flashy or bulky, they're only very simple, very thin cases. And there's different degrees of protection from synthesis to sheath to veil, just depending on how much protection you want on the phone and how thin you want your case to be. Even their most protective is thinner than a lot of the other ones that we have. As I mentioned, Veil is their thinnest, it's pliable, it's pretty much just a skin. So this is going to protect your phone from scratches, but if you drop it with this, it's not going to add a lot of drop protection. Moving up with the protection, we have Sheath, which is this graphite gray color, very simple but sleek design. And then we have the most protective with their Synthesis case, which you can see, especially on the corners, it bulks up a little bit. So it's still a very thin protective case, but adds a little bit more bulk than the other ones in the Kadabe lineup. We do like all the cases here. We like how minimal and kind of just unassuming they are. You don't have to think about them. They aren't flashy. They're not kind of adding all these different textures and patterns. They're all the nice matte kind of finish to them. They're all grippable and they're still gonna add protection to your phone. So whether you're looking for the most thin case that you can find, such as the Veil, or you want something that's going to be thin but give you protection without kind of being neon or something, then these are definitely ones to consider. Incipio is taking a similar tactic to Kadabe with three different versions of their cases from Aerolite to their NGP Pure and then their Dual Pro. So all these cases kind of do different things. Aerolite is a very light material, but it's still very protective. It has a little bit more of a rigid feel to it. It's all one material. It seems like a very solid protective phone. There we're just going all around the interior, interior edges to get a little more drop protection. Then we go over to like the Dual Pro, which has kind of a solid back, but the edges are more flexible so two material kind of makeup there for drop protection around the sides but still that solid back then we have their ngp pure which is just a completely flexible one material very clear simple case this is very similar to apple's own clear case then you step it up step it up with the dual pro and then their arrow light at the end for just the most protection we also have some from Xderia here. We have their shield and their air case. So we do have one version of their air case, but we have a few different versions of their shield case uh, in different colors. So we're gonna first show you the difference between shield and then air, then look at the differences in the shield cases that we've got. So here is the shield case on top with the air case below it. They look very similar and they have very similar elements, including the metal. But on the shield case, the metal goes all the way down the sides, whereas the shield, or the air case is just silicone there or rubber or whatever material that is along the side. So there is metal along the top, metal along the bottom, but the sides are completely open. So the shield is a little bit more protective and it looks a little bit nicer when you have these full colors because it goes all around the edge of the phone and not just on the top and the bottom. We really like all three of these colors. They're anodized aluminum, so they are metal, they are machined. They feel more premium even though the body of them is that plastic or rubber material. They just have a nice look to them and you don't see a lot else like them. In particular, we really like this multicolor rainbow one that just changes as you look at it. They did a really good job on it. Pitaka, they have amazing cases that we check out every year and they've updated their mag case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, just like everyone else here in this roundup. What makes it really unique is it's made from this aramid fiber, so it's extremely thin, but it's not made out of plastic. It is extremely strong, extremely durable, and ridiculously light. There's not really anything else out there like it from these major manufacturers. There are cutouts along the bottom and the edge there, so if that's a deal breaker for you, it may not be for you, but what they did do is straight up amazing. They also have actual magnetic plates built in here, which means it works with different accessories, including their own wireless chargers and mounts. There's a little bit of a lip going around the camera, so you have some protection there. I will say this case is really hard to get off because it is so slim fitting and minimalistic. Now they do have a wireless car charger, which is also one of our favorites. It just magnetically attaches with this case, still works through wireless charging. Great job. Berkeley, another leather case manufacturer here. Inside it even feels like this really nice suede fabric. Outside the leather is very nice and there's tons of different leather finishes that Berkeley puts out. So if you don't like this lighter option, they do have darker ones, chocolate ones, tan ones, whatever it is that you're looking for, including full wrap cases instead of just the ones that are along the back. Like we've seen, kind of the tradition or the style this year is it does connect magnetically to the case. And unlike a lot of the other ones, they were doing this, they were doing this last year. So this is something they've been doing for a little while now. 
where some of the other case manufacturers seem to kind of be just jumping on board with this magnetic design. It can still be propped up like the other ones. It does have a magnetic clasp, which you may or may not like. There are three little cutouts there on the front, so you can talk on the phone while you have the phone inside the case. You don't have to wrap it around the back. And there are three card slots on the inside as well as one for your ID, and then a large pocket beneath used for business cards, cash, whatever it may be. So very similar style to the other wall cases out there, but we've always been a fan of the Berkley leather. It has more of kind of a softer finish to it that doesn't feel overly polished or plasticky like some of the other ones can be when they're waxed. So it just has a very natural feel to it, though it will wear over time and start to look really nice and broken in the more that you use it. Again, we really, really can't emphasize much how much we like this style wallet case because it gives you the best of both worlds, allowing you to use the wallet when you want to and ditch the wallet when you don't need it, keeping that slim shell leather case. Of course, we are going to be including OtterBox in this video. We are going to be focusing primarily on the commuter case, which is kind of their middle of the road case. So it's not as thin as their symmetry cases, but not as giant and bulky as their defender cases comes in two different pieces, the silicone material and then the harder shell for added protection, giving you both those different layers. You connect your phone, slide it right here into the silicone shell, and then add the plastic shell over the back. Still very easy to put on and off, doesn't require any special tools like some of the other OtterBox cases do, but gives you more protection than most of the other shell cases that are on the list. And the commuter is meant to be moving around, so it is still a thin case and not overly bulky. The lightning port there on the bottom you can see is covered as well, so it's not going to get any extra debris or water damage in there. Even though the new phones are more durable and shouldn't be prone to any water damage, it's still good to keep those ports covered and clean, if at all possible. Now, Invisible Shield does not really make phone cases, but they do make screen protectors and they make some of the best ones that are out there. So it's only fit that we mention them here in this video. Their top of the line screen protector is the Glass Elite Vision Guard Plus. So it's their top of the line case, but it also blocks the harmful rays of blue light that are coming out of your phone. So it pretty much looks exactly the same. You're never going to notice a difference, but it's a little bit better for your eyes. A step down is their Glass Elite. They also have Glass Elite with privacy, so it kind of blocks others from being able to look in at what's going on on your phone. And they have the anti-glare one, so if you're outside in the sun specifically a lot, then this may be the one you're looking for because it'll cut down on those sun rays so you don't have to write your phone having to boost the brightness up so much. We've got life proof here today, including their slam case, which is their uh, simple kind of shell case. And then we also have their flip case, which in integrates a wallet into the back of the phone, but does it a little bit differently than most of the other wallet cases that we've already looked at today. So here is their slam case. And what I like about this is it gives you the benefits of the clear case. You can still see that you're rocking that midnight green iPhone, but it gives you a little bit of an accent color going around the outside. So you don't have to use that black, but it is a little bit of a kind of accent color to the iPhone. Then we have the flip case, which is kind of what it sounds like. You just have a wallet flipped here onto the back. So it has a nice fabric material to it, which is really something a little bit different than the leather that we've seen and has some blue accents on the inside. You have three card slots as well as a larger one for cash, business cards, receipts, whatever it may be. You can see the LifeProof logo is on there, though it's nice and slim. It holds together magnetically. Overall, just a really nice looking case. It does things a little bit differently, so you don't have to have the whole folio look. And the case itself is very thin. It's a lot thinner than we'd expect these wallet cases to be, but it does kind of ruin wireless charging for you. Next up is Totally, and they are extremely thin cases. We are checking out their clear one. And it's one of the best looking clear ones we've seen. We prefer this over Apple's because it is extremely crystal thin crystal clear and it looks great over time. We've used these over extended periods of time and they don't yellow too bad. They do get a little bit of yellow after like a year, but so does even Apple. So that's something that you can kind of come to expect. Next we have Quadlock. Quadlock is an Australian company and they do things just a little bit different. So they have their case, which is a solid good case on its own. We have no complaints about the case, but it has a kind of fun factor too, which is that it'll work with all these different mounting solutions that they put out. So you get kind of locked into their ecosystem. And if you already have their mounts, then you already need a new quad lock case, but they do have different things that you can kind of pair it with, including this here, which is just a Qi charger, just a mounts right on there, twist on, use a Qi charger with your iPhone in the quad lock, or they have this, which is their desk mount. 
This is really cool. So it has micro suction cups on the bottom, which we don't have enabled right now because we're going to be chucking this on our desk to keep up with our case lineup. But the top can move around, it pivots, and you just take your phone, line it up, and twist it into place with this case attached. It's very easy to do and gives you a nice stand for your phone. You can weave the cord through underneath and charge it up while it's in the stand. And you have all these different angles that can go to, especially if this is mounted on your desk, gives you a lot of flexibility. You can even work horizontally, which is great if you want to prop it up to watch movies or something. So you can go with the Qi charger, this desk charger, there's car chargers, there's motorbike chargers or motorbike grips. So there's all these different options you have to choose from using that same quad lock system. And once it's on there, it does feel very secure. For a more feminine option, we have one from the Casery. It has the Casery logo there at the bottom and this faux marble that goes along the back. Otherwise, it's a very standard shell case. It's nice and thin, offers some decent drop protection and some unique designs. This faux marble one here is just one of many different designs that they have for their cases and just gives it a little bit of a unique pop. It looks good, but I think it looks even better when the phone is actually in there. I like that dark contrast of the Casery logo there at the bottom and the dark contrast of the lenses up there at the top with the white marble. Alto, they use premium Italian leather in all their cases and they have some fun colors. This time we're just checking out their dual color one, which is caramel along the bottom and raven black along the top. Small Alto logo there on the inside where it's also covered in this microfiber or foam lining. They keep these sides and the bottom open, something that we actually kind of prefer, just adds a little bit more openness to the case and make them feel as bulky. This is their Metro wallet style, so there can be one or two cards put along the back. They're usually meant for Metro cards, but you can put in your ID, your credit cards, whatever it's going to be. But again, you have to be careful because it does stretch out the leather and the leather does not stretch back once it's in there. So if you put three cards in there or four cards in there, you have to keep that many cards because the leather is not going to stay tight. It's not going to tighten back up just to hold one card again. Otherwise, some of our favorite looking leather cases. Wallet cases must be in style this year because we have another one on our list from iPulse. So iPulse, we've seen these before. We have them in our previous roundups from last year. Uh, very similar to what we've seen from other cases this year when it comes to these wallet cases. Card slots along the left hand side. There are ear cutouts towards the top so you can take phone calls without having to open up the actual uh, case and fold it around back. Can be propped up. The phone case itself is a silicone shell and it cannot be removed unlike some of the other ones, so you do have to keep it in the wallet at all times, but it is a little bit thinner than the ones that use the removable shell because they don't have to add that extra bulk. Here we have Texas-based Armadillo Tech, basically a slightly cheaper version than OtterBox for the really rugged, durable cases. So it comes in two different parts, the very rubbery shell part and then the screen protector. You don't put your phone into the bottom half, in fact you slide it right into this screen shell that goes on the top and then it goes into the whole body. Now we do have a screen protector still on here that we didn't remove for the video while shooting, so that's why you see those bubbles going around, but when we did take it off it was completely smooth and clear, we didn't even notice that it was on there, but it does give you that added protection on the front of your phone without needing an additional screen protector. Like other cases, it does cover up different ports, so there is a cover along the bottom, so you're not going to get any debris ingress towards the lightning port. And of course, along the back, you can see where the Armadillo Tech logo is. It does have a kickstand built in, which is always kind of a nice feature, works vertically or horizontally for propping up your phone to watch videos on a nightstand, whatever it may be, and you can still see the screen of your phone without needing some extra one. And when you're already having a case that's a little bit this bulky for that extra, extra protection, kind of just a nice thing to have. Here we have UK based Toro. Toro makes another great leather wallet case. Small little accent there on the front, so just stamping it in, they actually have their logo cut out, which is something a nice touch that we like. Nice stitching around the edges, clear opening for the cameras, all stuff we expect. But they also have a few things that we didn't see from any of the leather case out there, including that it magnetically shuts without any need for a clasp. It actually just closes right there on its own and shuts automatically, and it automatically unlocks and wakes your phone whenever it opens and closes, something that's really in our lineup so far been limited to Apple's own. There are three card slots on the inside as well as a larger pocket for cash receipts and business cards. The case itself is not removable, but that does keep it a little bit more on the slim side and it can be propped up for watching videos. Waterfield doesn't really make your standard iPhone cases. They're a little bit different from what we've shown so far in this video in the first 40 minutes. So we have a few different objects from them. First is their Ranger pocket, their Ranger pouch, which is a holder for your iPhone instead of more of a sleeve rather than an actual case. So you can put your phone in here while it's actually inside of another slim case. 
their latch is extremely cool because you have to pull it down and then away to unlock it but when it locks it can go straight on so once you pull your phone out it can just close down on its own and lock into place so amazing job here on the actual clasp that holds this thing together phone can slide in the top everything's still a little bit stiff because everything's brand new but you can have additional things in the front there so card money uh receipts whatever you have to store in the front of this thing. So you have room for your phone in the back, some cards, cash, whatever in the front. On the back, it does have a little belt loop that you can use to attach to things, and it does close magnetically, so you don't have to take your belt off to put this on. And this back uh, magnet is extremely strong, so this is not going anywhere once you've actually locked it into place. This chocolate distressed leather here also feels very nice. It's some of the nicest leather that we've seen. It feels very natural. These are all made here in the US, in San Francisco, and we have a lot of other products from them that we wanna show off here and in our other iPhone case roundup videos. This is their executive sleeve. So it's very thin, very simple. You can put a carabiner or something there at the top. It has the Waterfield logo there at the bottom. Your phone slides right in just like any other ones do, but it doesn't have any additional pockets. They say this will work with a small case on, um, they particularly test with Apple's cases, so this will work with any of Apple's leather or silicone cases. You have access to the lightning port at the bottom, so when it is in the sleeve, you can still charge your phone. These are nice for a few different situations, like you have that thin case on, but sometimes you want a little bit more added protection and you're not actively using your phone. You can slide it into one of these for some added protection and you're good, and they have amazing build quality. The last one they want to show off is their camera bag. This will work with any of the th any of the three new iPhones, so the Max, the 11 Pro, or the iPhone 11. When you open it up from that distressed leather, you have a pocket on the top, you have a slot along the back where you can put your phone, and there are a series of little lens pouches at the front, so if you have like the Moment lens, Sandmark lenses, all those can be housed in there. Along the bottom, we have some extra little straps there where you can tie on something like a tripod, a mini tripod, a Joby tripod. Then you can use the strap and just throw the whole thing over your shoulder. Next, we have Bonder. So this is another wallet style case, and this one's a little bit cheaper than the other ones out there, which is not always a bad thing. The leather feels a little bit more plasticky if it is a real leather, but it has the magnetic removable case. So if you really like that design, but you don't want to pay as much for the high end leather ones, this might be one to check out. It just feels a little bit uh, looser. It doesn't feel as tight and as quality as some of the other ones do, but it still looks great. It doesn't feel bad by any means. and It's a little bit more affordable. We have Sonics, which has a few cool cases for us. We have the slightly more feminine skewing cactus one here. So it's a clear shell with all these cactuses printed onto the back. Very kind of neat, poppy case. And then we have their bandolier style case, which definitely is something we haven't seen in this video that gives you a little bit more option with it. So there's a little pouch that's on the back. You can uh, close it with magnets and you can hold some cards, cash IDs, whatever in there. But that whole thing actually uh, just comes off. So you don't have to use it if you don't want to. So if you want to use this as a wallet, uh, it just has a 3M adhesive on there. Just attach it to the back of the case or on the back of a phone. Either way, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. You're left with still just a nice uh, case with kind of a leather or a fake leather along the back. And then there is a strap that goes along with it. It's very easy to remove the strap if you don't want it or don't need it for a particular time, but you're going out for the night. It's really nice to have everything all in one, kind of your purse, your wallet cards in the back of that, and this nice chain and leather strap to go with it. So that is it. That is roughly 70 cases for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. These are all of our different ones, all of our favorites, kind of sourced from all these different places. We mixed everything up so you don't get bored going through this video. I really wanna hear what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite cases are down below in the comments. Pick up any of these at the links in the description and send over new suggestions to me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.